the rise of the digital photography through mobile phone that you have in your pocket, the need for professional photography kept on decreasing and people tend now to only go through a professional photographer for big events in their life or through big campaign for big campaigns and not for the rest of it. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put the photography back into everyone's mind. It's a main driver for conversion rate on a website. If you don't have any image or if you have a bad image, uh, basically people don't click and don't buy. So uh, you need the perfect image for your product if you want to sell it. We connect uh, vetted professional photographers to brands and consumers in 100 countries in a fantastic frictionless way at any time of the day for the right price. We help a creative have an easier life by giving them access to a repetitive and easy stream of revenues. And at the same time, trying to help the clients level up their content. Uh, we've been working with the likes of uh, uh, you know, Airbnb, Booking.com, uh, Uber, Deliveroo, Takeaway, whatever. Uh, but the, the best way to think about it is just to think about the way we're ordering food uh, through your mobile phone three years back, and you would just go to GrabHub, for example, and you would not see what you would get. Um, and now you would not even think about ordering food online without seeing the picture of it. And that's possible because we made it possible across the globe. We shoot and deliver millions of images across the globe, um, you know, every month. And to do that, you need basically tech and AI on every step of the way, whether it be to find and match the right photographer with the right clients, to help him prepare for the shoot, to help him live during the shoot, to recover the pictures and put them into the servers, to edit the pictures. You need AI everywhere. If we didn't have any tech on that, we could not do it. In the process of producing images for online businesses, Editing is probably the most cumbersome and the most boring thing and task for photographers. And on the other side, for the brands, standardizing the editing is probably one of the most important things because you want to have the same look and feel on your website. This is why we created and crafted algorithms to standardize photography editing. We also use our AI to moderate and edit images on the fly. AI helps us get information on the images, moderate them, enhance them, removing any subjectivity or timing delays. I see Miro as an ideal partner because they really support the photographers as artists, not just as workers in the machinery of a business. If you go onto Miro's Instagram account, you'll see that they're promoting their artists. They've reached out to me before to ask me if, if I would allow them to post my work. And I, I see more benefit in that actually for the artist than I do for Miro. So they are willing to really support the people that work for them as artists, not just as workers for the company. There are quite a few challenges in the field of photography today. One of the biggest ones is the oversaturation. There's lots of photographers and not as much work as there are photographers. If you don't have contacts with companies, it can be quite hard to get work. We are present in 13 countries, so we needed a partner that, can, that could be present together with us in those countries. Plus, we operate not only in the main cities, but in several dozens of cities in the country, so Miro uh, will give us that kind of capability. When it comes to the next steps of our partnership with Miro, obviously uh, we are a scale up, we are growing much, but you know, our ambitions are even more and we are already in 13 countries in Europe, but we want to expand in Europe, but also want to go in Northern Africa or in Asia or, or in the US as well, shortly. For sure having a global partner uh, like Miro with also leveraging the knowledge that we build together with them around the processes that will help us and that is what I see in the future for us, for Tritwell and Miro together. So like the rest of Miro, we do on-demand photography, but basically the object that we actually photograph is different. So we're going to be able to photograph, for example, a chair, a can of coke, a t-shirt, it has to be an object. 
And actually right now we have about 80% of our clients who are fashion. And then we also do a little bit of groceries. So food and packaged goods, that kind of stuff. Clients choose Miro's e-commerce services because we make a very complicated process simple and bring peace of mind to our clients. To give you a concrete example, we have a client who's actually a department store and they shoot in some of the luxury brand showrooms to have the, the products very early on, the, on their website. Before working with Miro, what one of what our main POC used to do is she went all around the world in different showrooms, coordinated a team of freelance that she barely knew. These shoots often take place at night, so it was very tiring and complicated for her. And right now, what she does is she follows the shoot from her bed in her pajama, drinking a little tea, and it's a lot easier for her. I think a successful company-client interaction, of course, starts with delivering according to what is expected, right? So for us, it means delivering on time and according to expected quality. But then on top of that, our clients really appreciate two things. First, our reactivity. We're always there to support with exceptions. We're always there to correct potential mistakes that have been happening. And this is really, really valued by our clients. And then the second thing that they are pretty fond of, I believe, is the creative support that we bring. So we're always there to help them define the best um, e-commerce picture for their customers, you know, trying to help them make a little variations about them. The photography industry has been maybe one of the most evolving ones over the past 20 years. Um, I mean, we're all uh, amateurs, I guess, now in photography, aren't we? And I think the future of photography is, will be this right in between, between professional photographers. They're gonna have to focus more and more on high-level content, super high-level content, and billions of amateurs. They're gonna use their devices every 30 minutes to print out digitally the moment they live in, and we intend on helping them both. But you have to stay tuned for that.